sir in the last session we had a discussion what types of variables are allowed inside python class what type of methods are allowed inside python class can you can spell out what the types of variables allowed inside python class anyone can you please tell i forgot sir which types of variables are allowed inside python class anyone can you please guide respond ha ah. oi which types of variables are allowed in in python class within the python class instance variables extend after that static variables static variables and then local local variables right so these are the three types of variables are allowed inside python class correct right three types three types of variables are allowed inside python class similarly which types of methods are allowed in python class types of methods types of methods can you can explain out which types of methods are allowed inside python class there are three types of methods are allowed okay instance methods instance methods static methods static methods are there okay instance methods static methods and then class methods are you getting that's all these are three types of variables these are three types of methods you people should aware clearly right okay which types of variables are allowed which type of methods are allowed like that you should you should have clear clarity about this one sir now here we have to perform post mortem about these characters right first i will talk about variables and then we will perform uh, we will we will talk about methods right sir first first instance variables right so what is instance variable when we should go for instance variable where we have to declare instance variables how to access instance variables how to modify how to delete all the story completely we require to talk about right sir very very simple sir if i consider student if i consider student student the class sir for every student have you have you observed right for every student for every student compulsory separate name must be required or not yes compulsory a separate role number must be required for every student separate name must be required separate role number must be required correct right okay sir i am taking class student student for every student separate name must be required separate role number must be required if you observe first student assume assume that if you if you observe he is the first student second student third student like this type of multiple student objects are there sir assume that first student name durga role number 101 second student name ravi role number 102 third student name nikhil role number 103 okay like fourth student name some sunny okay roll number some 600 something like that so if you have 600 student objects then how many names are possible can you please respond how many names are possible 600 names are possible if you have 600 roll number 600 students how many roll numbers are possible 600 roll numbers are possible now the first point here is if the value of a variable varied from object to object are you getting if the value of a variable varied from object to object such type of variables are called instance variables remember this one sir sir name and roll number varied from object to object name and roll number varied from object to object that's why these variables are by default considered as yes, instance variables right next how many copies of instance variables will be created sir for every object for every object a separate copy of instance variable by default will be created any doubt are you able to understand right sir how many if 600 students are there 600 roll numbers are there 600 names are there so the first point here is if the value of a variable if the value of a variable is varied from object to object are you getting varied from object to object if the value of a variable varied from object to object such type of variables are called such type of variables are called instance variables such type of variables variables are called instance variables right okay so if the value of a variable varied from object to object such type of variables are nothing but instance variables sir make sure you people should aware sir next uh, sir for every object for every object a separate copy by default will be created are you getting a separate a separate copy a separate copy by default will be created sir okay make sure will be created like that so here what is instance variable what is instance variable how many copies of instance variable will be created any doubt 
any doubt about this uh, terminology sir if the value of a variable varied from object to object such a type of variables are nothing but instance variable for every object a separate copy of the instance variable will be created so now just uh, how you can declare the instance variables so just uh, let me let me let me go for a small chota example sir i am taking class of student listen listen a bit very carefully sir sir def uh, underscore underscore init uh, what is the first argument Yo, I forgot. What the first argument? We see the constructor. First argument is uh, should be compulsory self. Should be compulsory self. Next time after that, name comma roll number is there. Name comma roll number is there, sir. Now self dot name is equal to self dot name is equal to name self dot roll number is equal to roll number like this. I'm taking, sir. That's all. This is my student class. Sir, now I want to create student objects. I want to create student object. S1 is equal to student R. S1 is equal to student R. Sir, here, just I'm taking Durga. Durga, comma, 101. Durga, comma, 101. Name is the Durga. Rule number is 101. Similarly, S2, S2, name is Ravi. Ravi, uh, rule number is 102. Next, S3, name is Pavan. Regarding S3, name is Pavan. Rule number is 103. Everyone can able to understand now what is the how many objects are there here? Please respond. How many objects are there? How many student objects are there? Three. How many names are available? How many names? How many student names are available? Three. Next, how many roll numbers are available? Three. So if the value of a variable is varied from object to object, such a type of variables are by default considered as yes, instance variables. Okay, remember this one, sir. Instance, instance variables. Next, uh, sir, for every object, a separate copy of instance variables by default will be created. Any doubt? Any doubt? Now, by simply seeing these two points with this coding example, now I hope everyone can able to understand that. Okay? Now, my next question. Where, where we have to declare instance variables? Where we have to declare, where we have to declare instance variables? Sir. Remember this one, sir. Sir, where you can declare instance variables, what are various options are there? What options are there, sir? Sir, do you know there are multiple places are there to declare instance variables? Sir. There are multiple places are there to declare instance variables like what places? One possible place, I told, one possible place sir, inside constructor. Inside constructor by using self. Correct or not? By using self. Inside the constructor by using self. Do you know, sir, here within the constructor, sir, by using self, whatever variables we declare, sir, this is first variable I declare. This one is nothing but second variable I declare, sir. These are two variables are instance variables, right? Remember that. By using, sir, self.name, self.roll number, these two variables are instance variable. Sir, what about uh, this one and this one? Do you know? These two things are nothing but just a simply local variables, right? Any name you can use. Here, if you can use X, then automatically here also you should use X. Here you can use Y, here also you can use Y. These are not standard variables, but these are two, self.name, self.roll number, these two are, are instance variables, right? Now, clear? Are you able to understand, right? Sir, what is the first one? Inside the constructor, by using self. Inside the constructor, by using self, we can able to declare instance variables. Any doubt? Are you able to understand? First possibility, already I used it, right? Already I used it. Second possibility, sir. Second, second possibility, inside, inside instance method. Inside instance method, by using self, sir. Object related method. Object related method inside the instance method by using self. By using self. Best example, sir. Suppose here one method I am taking. One method I am taking. DEF info method I am taking, sir. Info info method I am taking. DEF info method. It's also instance method. Object related method. Now, self for that name roll number marks is equal to default marks 60 i'm taking sir assume assume that 60 60 i'm taking 60 i'm taking sir now my my question is observe that very carefully sir sir s1 is equal to s1 is equal to student of name durga name durga 
ಕಮ ರೋಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ನೇಮ್ ದುರ್ಗ ಕಮ ರೋಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ ನೌ ಹೌ ಮನಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಪ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೌ ಹೌ ಮನಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌ ಮನಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಡಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇದ that's why this third variable won't come sir if you if you declare instance variable inside a method when that instance variable will be added to the object is e whenever you call that method i didn't call that method that's why sir only two instance variables are there how you can find the instance variables right very simple sir s1 dot underscore underscore dict dict like this can you please observe can you please observe on the object reference if you can ask uh, underscore underscore dict uh, underscore underscore have you observed right sir if you are using like this dict variable predefined variable which is always going to talk about instance variables let me let me execute this code what is the output by default we are going to get let me execute this code sir here durga classes now test dot py i am saving this code test dot py now let me execute this yeah just a py test dot py can you please observe what is that uh, how many instance variables are there only two instance variables right name is durga name is durga row number is 101 row number is 101 okay yes correct dict means dictionary dict means dictionary object related dictionary object related oi hey, s1 object related dictionary like that right okay sir now it is within curly braces key value key value that's why it is the dictionary only internally so the year keys are instance variable values are the corresponding values remember this one sir keys are name of the instance variable value is always values only okay like that. now my question is take take very very special case sir what the what, what the what's my important question okay here is if i call s1 dot info method s1 dot info if i call s1 dot info s1 dot info automatically yes is it going to be created is it going to be added or not? yes for the current object can you please add instance variable marks its value is nothing but 60 like this right now can you please tell how many instance variables are there can you please confirm how many instance variables are there please respond how many instance variables are there ha huh? now now how many instance variables are there three instance variables raman three instance variables because the reason is because of constructor because of constructor this is the constructor sir because of constructor two instance variables added for our object next up because of info method one more instance variable added for our object so total how many variables you declared with the self either inside constructor or inside method by using self how many instance variables you declared sir only three instance variable that's why currently as of now how many instance variables are there sir three instance variables are there let me execute this code can you please observe name is durga row number 101 marks is the 60 name is durga row number 101 marks itself is the 60 like this any doubt please respond are you able to understand right sir where we have to declare instance variable yes sir, there are two places already i covered sir one is inside constructor by using self inside instance method by using self third one sir third possibility very important sir third possibility but in the people who are coming from java background we are not having any these many places to declare instance variables man we are not having any these many places to declare instance variables remember in java in java we have only one place to declare instance variables what is that place is yes, within the class directly here yeah, string name int roll number that's all are you getting inside a method i want to declare instance variable no such type of terminology remember in java the only place where you can declare instance variable within the class directly but outside of any method or constructor only these variables by default considered as yeah, instance variables right the variable should be declared at class level these are instance variables right remember but in in python multiple places are there to declare instance variables right yes inside constructor inside info method yeah 
now some one, one one student is asking the doubt sir sir okay well but actually somewhere i saw the variables which are declared inside a method are called local variables right somewhere we saw the variables which are declared inside a method are called local variables correct correct the variables which are declared inside a method like this this is the local variable this is the local variable okay because inside inform taking but what is the difference between this one and this one are you seeing the difference basuras are you seeing the difference here it is the normal x is equal to 10 but here i use which 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 one self self observe that by using self so inside a method instance method if you are declaring a variable by using self it is also treated as instance variable but this variable not declared with the self that's why it is considered as simply local variable only sir if i print if i print x is not coming have you observed because x is not instance variable x is not coming suppose if i declare this one also with the self this one also with the self then automatically is it local variable or not yes x is the local variable because it's coming so basuras are you able to understand so the variables which are declared inside a method these variables are local variables only but but exceptional cases if i declare by using self if i declare by using self it will be considered as instance variable okay then sir as of now how many yeah how to access that part we are going to talk about that don't worry don't worry just the first concentrate how you can declare that's what my requirement right can you please tell in how many places we can declare instance variables sir how to access how to modify how to delete that is our remaining story first concentrate where you have to declare in how many places we can declare instance variables right total two places i covered what is the first one what the first one inside the constructor by using self what the first one inside the constructor by using self inside instance method by using self okay next next from these two things are within the class within the class within the class so inside the class we can declare instance variables by using self it may be constructor it may be instance method okay like now third point from outside of the class from outside of the class from outside of the class by using object reference sir if you if you add any variable if you declare any variable by using object reference by using object reference from outside of the class it will become instance variable for that class remember that sir it will become instance variable for that class oh multiple places are there man here after s1 dot info i am taking s1 dot age is equal to some 24 i am taking sir so i am declaring age sir by using s1 don't feel that we are accessing we are accessing if we s1 having the age already having the age then the old value will be replaced with the new value if s1 is already having the age old value will be replaced with the new value if s1 not having the age okay now a new variable will be added to s1 remember that a new variable will be added to s1 now total sir get this line at line number 12 how many instance variables are there for my for my object s1 please respond how many instance variables are there for my object s1 four instance variable name role number because of constructor next the marks because of info method next uh, because of this line age also came let me cross check let me cross check name is durga roll number 101 marks is 60 age is nothing but 24 like this clear clear everyone can able to understand total how many places are there to declare instance variable these are the three places what we have sir do you know the biggest advantage we have multiple places to declare instance variables next uh, next uh, if you want you can maintain instance variable separately for every object also something like what my intention is of course separate copy will be there my intention is sir this total thing is s1 now i want s2 i want s2 sir s2 is equal to s2 is equal to student of okay name is ravi name is ravi and the roll number is one or two one or two one or two next uh, he don't want marks uh, sir s2 dot s2 dot 
wife am taking sir yes to that wife wife am taking sir name is the pawan yes to that wife is some renu like this am taking sir assume that yes to that wife is a renu can you please tell for yes to how many instance variables are there please respond how many instance variables are there okay how many instance variables are there for yes to sir do you know total three three variables one is the name and roll number next and after that s2 dot wife is nothing but renu like uh, total three variables by default will be there sir age marks uh, not applicable for student so for every object a separate uh, separate uh, instance variables we can able to maintain in python man in python it's is a possible now observe that now observe that sir for the second instance variable name is available rule number is available wife is available like that regarding wife is available like this right clear right shivateja what you doubt if another class reference variable is also s2 means what will happen sir this here what you are taking here what you are taking shivateja what object you are creating student related to that student the properties by default will be added remember that it is the student object here which object we are creating yes to sir based on that yes to like this right clear everything if another class is having some customer then automatically it will represent customer object here which object which object like this so here total can you please observe how many classes are available here in this example how many classes are there only oi how many classes are there only only one class student class how many methods are available how many methods are there two methods sir two methods of course of course assume constructor is also special method or constructor followed by one method total two methods are there including constructor method next uh, how many objects how many objects i created how many objects i created here yeah. someone is asking keep on asking the doubt uh, please execute by removing dict in in output what is your name can you please log in by name what is your name please execute by removing uh, narsimha can you please log in log in log out and log in by name because if any student is asking the doubt by name i can it is very easy for me to talk okay now here just uh, take a bit very very special care sir so now my my question is yes observe that if if i can take like sir now how many objects are there two objects are there one is s1 object second one is s2 object s1 object s2 object right? s1 object contain how many properties are there two three uh, s1 contain total four properties two are coming from the constructor one is coming from the instance i mean info method next i added explicitly one more instance variable for this s1 then automatically sir print s1 dot dict is nothing but like the total total four properties are there for s1 four instance variables are there for s1 similarly for s2 also how many instance variables are there sir how many instance variables are there for s2 is sir three instance variables are there any doubt please respond everyone in a position to understand this one okay ah uh, where you are having the doubt if you, if any person having the doubt i will explain shankar shankar ja shankar is asking something sir in java we will create the object for the same class it will check the method area and it, there it will point to the same object is there any no no even in java also where you land i don't know it is the wrong terminology shankar the terminology whatever you are typing is not applicable for java now sir it's very clear for you people sir what is the instance variable where you have to declare instance variables right sir any explanation is required yeah he is asking about uh, uh, just uh, is <laughs> his doubt is the very innocent doubt uh, what we call shivateja sir can you please clarify shivateja's doubt anyone can you please sir here what what is the doubt here is okay what is the doubt is here just observe what 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 is the doubt is 
S2 is equal to customer of Pavan comma 100. S2 dot wife is there. Now S2 is the student reference variable or customer if both class exists. Sir, have you observed which object you are creating? Which object we are creating? Yes, ma'am. Shavateja. Which object we are creating? Customer object. Then the properties are applicable only for the customer. Remember that. Sir, even you created S2 is equal to student R. Student R. Some Durga. Durga. Okay. And 100, 101. I'm taking. Assume that. Assume that. Sir, even S2 pointing to student object as of now. Once this line executed, now onwards, S2 always pointing to customer object only. Remember that. Are you getting? So, which is the most recent? That thing by default is going to be considered. Clear, Shavateja? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Vijay, uh, we can declare a class inside another class. Inner class is concept applicable even in Python also. Okay. Don't worry. We will discuss. Yes. That's all. Clear? Any doubt about this terminology? Okay, where you have to declare instance variable? There are more total three places are there. Within the class, inside constructor self. Within the class, inside instance method by using self. Outside of the class, by using object reference. These are the only possible instance variables, possible declarations for instance variables, right? Okay, like that. Now, I have one small doubt, sir. Okay, what's my doubt is just to get the basic idea. Just, just to get the basic idea. I'm um, just I have one 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 small doubt is there, sir. What's my doubt here is just a class test I'm taking. Class test I'm taking. Test here, here I'm taking DEF, DEF here underscore underscore in it, underscore underscore self, self. Okay, like I'm taking self for da, self for da. A is equal to 10, self for dot B is equal to 20, self dot B is equal to 20. Next turn after that, self dot C is equal to 30, like this we have, sir. Okay. Next turn after that, D, E, F, M1 of self I have, self I have, self for dot D is equal to 40. I'm taking D, E, F, M2 method I have, self I'm taking, sir, self, self I'm taking. Self for dot E is equal to 50, like this I have, sir. Sir, now here I'm taking T1 is equal to test. T1 is equal to test, 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 that's all. T1 is equal to test. T1 dot M1. Next up, T2 is equal to test, test, T2 dot M2, T2 dot M2. Next, T2 dot, uh, T2 dot S is equal to is equal to 200 t2 dot y is equal to 300 like this i'm taking sir now my question is seems to be very simple seems to be seems to be very very simple sir can you please tell how many how many uh, variables are there here for t1 how many instance variables are there for t2 how many instance variables are there can you please respond For T1, how many variables are there? Sorry. For T2, how many instance variables are there? Can you please tell? For T1, for T1, for T1, how many instance variables are there? Uh, because of constructor, three variables are coming. Because of constructor, three variables are coming. Next, T1 dot M1, fourth variable is also came because of M1 call. That's all. So, for a T1, only four variables are there. Only four variables are there for T1. T1. T1 only four. A, B, C and D. Sir, if you consider T2, sir. T2, because of constructor, again three are coming. Because of M2, again one is coming. Again one is coming. Total four. Next, S and Y. S and Y. Again two variables are coming. Extra I am adding. 3 plus 1, 4 plus 2 is nothing but 6, sir. So, for T1, 4 variables are there. For T2, 6 variables are there. Now, have a look once. Here, let me print those properties, right? Print of T1 dot underscore underscore dict like this. Next, T2 dot underscore underscore dict. 
can you please observe sir for t1 1 2 3 4 variables are there but for t2 six variables are available any doubt clear right sir where we have to declare instance variables not required to keep much explanation about this at an algorithm okay so now what next the sigma we have to we have to discuss right sir how to access instance variables very important sir how to access instance variables sir how to declare okay well then how to access instance variables very very simple sir we can access instance variables within the class within the class by using self within the class by using self sir so if you want to access instance variable compulsory self must be required within the class by using self we should use sir. next uh, from outside of the class from outside of the class outside of the class by using object reference because it is always talks about object right by using object reference let me repeat again within the class by using self from outside of the class by using object reference if you want to access instance members sir, sir only these are the possibilities right okay like sir very very simple what i want to take here is observe that. i declare sir here just uh, let me let me go for just a uh, student student related things only just uh, let me yes we cover student related right okay now this is the student now have a look once sir observe that student name like this sir now d e f d e f display d f display display like this i'm taking sir just a display student information print of hello hello my name is okay hello my name is self for dot name okay sir how you can access instance variable by using self sir remember that next uh, my roll number is okay my roll number is roll number roll number is self for that roll number okay that's all this is now take very special care yes is equal to student i'm created student uh, durga durga comma 101 like this i'm taking sir sir i created one student object i created one student object like this now yes sir dot display yes sir display display sir now display method is going to call inside the method inside the method we are accessing we are accessing instance variables by using self are you getting we are accessing instance variables by using self so how to access instance variables right by using self self variable we can able to access instance members remember that within the class now perfectly it is going to work but don't keep any doubt at all hello my name is durga my roll number is 101 like this i am going to get clear right up to this any doubt okay sir outside of the class how you can access outside of the class how you can how you can access okay print of yes sir dot name yes sir dot name yes sir dot roll number so if you want to access instance variable from outside of the class by using by using sir object reference are you getting by using object reference we are allowed to access from outside of the class then automatically the answer by default we are going to get at last uh, have you observed right durga 101 any doubt any doubt clear right shivataja create an object by using that object you can able to access another class instance variables no problem at all create an object and by using that reference variable you can access inside inside student class okay that's all so very simple sir within the class if you want to access instance variable the only possibility is self by using self we can access outside of the class if you want to access instance variable the only possibility is by using by using sir object reference variable like sir here how many students are there only one student only one student is it possible to create one more student yes why not man yes why not i can create one more student his name is uh, ravi his name is ravi and his roll number is 102 now observe that now observe carefully sir yes 
sir first person name and roll number okay like this second person name and roll number like this right okay well it, it can able to recognize which object which object displayed which object name which object roll number s1 dot name s dot name both are different this is the name of s student this is the name of s1 student any doubt are you able to understand next sir how to access instance variable this is the story right next how to delete instance variables <laughs> how to delete instance variables right sir if you feel that hey, this instance variable no longer required for this object if you feel this instance variable no longer required for this object happily you can able to delete sir happily you can able to delete that uh, variable no problem at all okay remember next uh, shankar shankar is asking one small doubt sir what is the scope of instance variable declared inside the instance method can we access from from another method yes no problem at all because instance method instance variable you are adding two object that's why you can able to access right yes along yes that object is there then you can access its instance members from anywhere remember that clear right these are not local variables okay how to delete so within the class if you want to delete within the class if you want to delete sir del self for dot variable name variable name outside of the class if you want to delete outside of the class if you want to delete del del object reference object reference reference dot variable name are you getting object reference dot variable name we have to we have to call are you are you able to understand right within the class within the class if you want to delete del self dot variable name outside of the class if you want to delete del object reference dot variable name okay like that. sir now let me go for a small a small example right assume assume that assume sir instead of taking generic example let me take sir class test class test i'm taking there underscore underscore init underscore underscore self i'm taking now self for dot a is equal to self for dot a is equal to then i'm taking self dot b is equal to 20 self dot c is equal to 30 self dot b self dot c is equal to 30 okay here i'm taking d f del delete the, like this i'm taking some function delete the, some function i'm taking sir now if you feel for for any object if you if you want to delete some b under c no problem at all you can delete how you can d e l ah, can you please tell what is the way d e l i want to delete b under c what is the way sir del, del sir self for dot b del self dot b del self dot c sir you can take in the same line also with comma with comma del del self dot b comma self dot c like that you can able to take now i'm taking t1 is equal to test sir t1 is equal to test sir print on t1 dot underscore underscore picture can you please tell how many instance variables are there for t1 please respond how many instance variables are there for t1 how many instance variables are there for the t1 then automatically one 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 uh, so no how many instance variables are there for t1 three, three instance variables are there because i didn't call this a delete i didn't call this a delete that's why only because of constructor three variables are coming all the three variables by default will be there sir all the three variables by default will be there now observe that a is equal to 10, B is equal to 20, C is equal to 30. Now I am calling T1 dot delete. T1 dot delete, delete I am calling sir. If I call T1 dot delete, then two variables by default will be gone. Only one instance variable is there. Are you getting only one instance variable is there sir. Now my requirement is, sir, within the class, how you can delete? By using del keyboard, by using del, del self dot C outside of the class i want to delete del del t1 dot a sir del t1 dot a means uh, by using object reference we can able to delete the variable how do, what is the way del del object reference dot a so within the class this is the way outside of the class this is the way sir outside of the class this is the way 
Now, can you please tell what is the output by default you are going to get? How many, how many instance variables are there for my T1 now? How many instance variables are there for my T1? Zero number, zero number, right? Okay, have you observed right? Nothing is there like that. Any doubt? Okay, now I have one small thing. Let me do self dot b comma self dot c self dot b comma self dot c self dot c now observe that observe that name yes is not defined where is that yeah here the problem yeah. mm. here like this i'm taking now how many instance variables are there yeah. correct both the things got deleted only a is coming both the things got deleted only a is coming okay well. now someone is asking del self <laughs> del self self is the current object only reference variable will be deleted but the corresponding object is there now. because t1 reference is there no problem yes have you observed uh, who is the person who asked this doubt basavras basavras what it is happened is legend legend is fun i'm creating an object i'm creating an object an object then automatically this is the object t1 is the reference variable for this next step. i'm calling t1 dot delete t1 dot delete delete i'm calling whenever you call t1 dot delete immediately python is going to provide self variable self variable always point into the same object now this delete function called inside the delete method del self sir only this variable will be gone only this variable will be gone but still object is there because of this t1 okay now t1 <coughs> dictionary automatically all the three variables are going to come just only the corresponding reference variable will be gone entire object won't be deleted because the reason for that is t1 is already there if t1 is not there if t1 reference variable is also not there then that object by default variable for garbage collection simple del t1 del t1 <laughs> are you getting in the garbage collection concept we will discuss shivateja del t1 now the total t1 object by default <laughs> by default will be gone the total t1 object by default will be gone del t1 like that okay so that's all now how to delete instance variables how to declare instance variables everything is very clear for you people right okay so now here the just take a bit very very special care suppose i'm taking here legend legend this one suppose i'm taking i'm taking t1 is equal to test how many instance variables are there slowly you people are getting the clarity t1 is equal to test how many instance variables are there please respond how many instance variables are there t2 is equal to test yes 3 3 both objects having three variable three variables right del t1 del t1 dot k del t1 dot k then automatically t1 dot k t1 dot a means t1 dot a means sir this t1 related a variable will be gone del t2 dot b t2 object related b variable by default will be gone print of t1 dot underscore underscore dict underscore underscore can you please tell what is the output by default we are going to get t1 dot underscore underscore dict t1 how many variables are there for t1 how many instance variables are there b under c remember that b under c divya already t1 dot a deleted t1 related a variable gone then obviously how many instance variables are there sir b under c instance variables are there okay like next so obviously b under c is going to come b under c next let me use t2 dot dict for the t2 how many instance variables are there for t2 how many instance variables are there Please respond. How many instance variables are there? Two instance variables. Because which variables are right? B gone. B gone. Only A under C. Only A under C. Have you observed? Only A under C. So, clear conclusion. 
the instance of variables which are deleted from one object it may not delete in the remaining objects remember this one sir so because for every object we are maintaining separate copy that's why if you perform any modification with respect to t1 those modifications won't be reflected to the t2 because every object having its own separate copy of instance variables clear are you in the position to understand right next uh, sir legend how many people can able to answer this this one t1 dot a is equal to triple eight i'm taking t1 dot b is equal to triple nine print of print of okay print of t1 dot a comma t1 dot b i'm taking print of t1 dot a comma t1 dot b t2 dot a comma t2 dot b please guide what the output we are going to get now please guide what the output we are going to get now t1 dot a t1 dot b what the answer sir think a bit very carefully and then tell the answer why you are telling wrong answers i don't know what the answer in the first case what the answer in the second case think a bit very carefully if you have the pen and paper better to trace by using paper and pen and then tell the answers this much very clearly basic level i'm explaining still you are telling wrong answers meaningless take the paper and the pen trace and then please let me know take the paper and pen and trace and then tell the answer first one i'm talking about only first one or the answer in the second one okay yeah please observe a bit carefully sir 90 percent of the people not having tracing capability especially instance variable this type of examples please analyze analyze i'm creating an object because of t1 because of t1 i'm just creating an object sir because of t1 t1 here just uh, if you if you observe the t1 object got created t1 object got created created a is equal to 10 b is equal to 10 two instance variables got created excellent t1 completed sir next t2 sir t2 again separate object again separate copy of instance variables because of constructor a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 b is equal to 20 like this right a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 okay well t1 dot a is equal to triple eight t1 dot a t1 dot a is equal to triple eight is equal to triple eight then t1 related a will become triple eight okay next sir if you perform the change to t1 dot a it won't affect to the t2 T1 dot B is equal to triple nine. T1 dot B is equal to triple nine. Correct. Triple nine. Okay. Now T1 dot A, T1 dot B, triple eight, triple nine. T2 dot A, T2 dot B, ten point eight. Regarding because we are performing the modifications to the T1, those changes won't be reflected to the T2. That's why triple eight, triple nine, T1 related. Next, T2 related is nothing but simply 10 under 20 only. Now, let me execute. Can you please observe? T1 related, triple eight, triple nine. But T2 related, 10 under 20 only. Clear, I hope. Any doubt? Are you in the position to understand right? Okay, T1 is equal to test, T2 is equal to test like. Uh, that's all this is. Next, suppose if I can take T2 dot B is equal to triple nine. What the answer? <laughs> can you please guess? What the answer in the first line? What the answer in the second line? 
T1 dot A is equal to triple eight. T1 dot B is equal to triple. T2 dot B is equal to triple nine. First one, what the answer? Second one, what the answer, sir? Ah, first one, T1 dot A, triple eight. Okay, triple eight. Next time after the T1 dot B, B B value for T1 are not changing. That's why B value is that twenty. Twenty. Next T2 dot A, T2 T2 dot A. T2 dot A means sir. I'm not changing T2 dot A ten. Next T2 dot B, I'm changing its value triple nine. Clear right? Triple eight twenty ten triple nine. This is the answer by default we are going to get. Triple eight twenty ten triple nine itself is the answer we are going to get sir. Now have a look once. Have a look once. Triple eight twenty ten triple nine. Any doubt? Now everyone having the clarity. What is the instance variable? For every object, if you want separate copy, then we should go for an instance variable. Next time, uh, for every object, a separate copy will be maintained. The values will be varied from object to object. In how many places we have to declare an instance variable? There are three places are there within the class by using self, outside class by using object reference, within the class inside constructor, inside instance method, outside of the class anywhere but by using object reference. Next, how to access by using self? How to delete by using del? Clear, right? If you are adding to one object instance variable, no guarantee that variable will be added for the remaining objects. If you perform the value of one object instance variable, those changes won't be reflected to the remaining objects because for every object, a separate copy will be there. If you delete the instance variable from one object, it won't delete uh, the same variable from every object. It will be deleted only from that particular object. That's all. Clear? Any doubt? Any doubt? Okay. Now, let me talk about static variables concept. Okay. This is what I will discuss in the next session.